Hi everyone, um, in this video uh, we are going to learn how to reduce the exe4 file system. Even we can reduce uh, um, uh, XFS file system as well, but that is uh, different steps actually. Okay, so uh, we can reduce like exe3, exe4 file systems directly, not XFS. Okay, I'll tell you why that actually and uh, in, the, in the next video. Okay. So actually reducing the file system, extending the file system is a online activity. You don't need to unmount the file systems and all on the fly, like even production servers also, you can directly extend it. Okay. There won't be any, uh, like we no need to unmount the file system, but with respect to this uh, ext3 and ext4, uh, we need to like uh, unmount the file system. Okay. So then only we, we can, we can actually reduce the file system. Okay. So I'll show you that how, okay. Yeah, so here, um, let's see like uh, whether which is the file system that we wanted to reduce. For example, I wanted to reduce this MySQL slash MySQL data file system. Okay, because this is a ext4 and uh, it is of uh, like 9.3 GB almost. Okay, uh, let me reduce it actually. So uh, around like uh, uh, maybe four, for 4 GB or 3 GB, something like that. Okay, so first what we need to do, right? So we need to unmount that file system. Okay. So which file system we need to unmount using umount command we can unmount it the mysql data is a file system I'm just unmounting it first Okay, this is unmounted if you run df-ht command and you won't be able to see that mysql data uh, here Right, so now what you can do like uh, once you do this we need to arrange the sectors properly uh, to one side actually Okay, uh, which means like uh, we have some data uh, already right in that file system right so if there is already a data we need to arrange all those sector data sectors data blocks it will store uh, i mean in different blocks actually in the disk right we need to arrange all the data blocks to one side where the data is right so then only we can actually uh, divide uh, the data data uh, partition and then uh, like remaining partition uh, remaining uh, space right so for that purpose you need to run e2fsck command e2fsck hyphen f what is the file system that we need to uh, uh, give it here means that file system we need to give okay. so here we need to check which file system actually so for a database vg right so uh, uh, here i'm giving database uh, in this vg right i have the mysql uh, da uh, mysql data lv this is the lv okay here we need to actually like uh, we need to run this okay so what it does is whatever the data blocks we have right all those data blocks will be um, actually uh, come into one place okay now we need to fix the size uh, and uh, resize the lv how you need to like how much you want to uh, provide for this uh, lv right almost 9.5 gb is there uh, 9.3 gb right we need to reduce it how much you want to keep it for lv okay for example i wanted to keep like just 4 gb so you need to run resize to fs command resize to fs slash dev and uh, whatever the vg here and then lv here okay and then how much gb that you wanted to keep for example i wanted to keep just 4 gb okay just give enter so what it does is it will just uh, um, like reduce the uh, i mean uh, resize to the file system as well we resized right so e2fsck uh, it will resize the uh, uh, partition that we created right and resize to fs it will reduce the file system space as well okay now we reduced the, the disk space i mean partition space and then we reduced the uh, file system space right now we need to reduce the um, i mean we need to release whatever uh, i mean left right for it was like uh, uh, four point nine point three GB, right? So we need to reduce it to what, like four GB or something like that, right? So we need to rest of the four point three GB. We need to release it to what, uh, like whatever the VG, uh, the the VG is database VG. We need to release it to database VG, right? How we can reduce is LV reduce command. LV reduce option capital L minus. For example, I'm just keeping four GB here okay and the slash dev slash whatever the vg here and then whatever the lv right so we need to keep this so it will reduce 4 gb 
and uh, whatever the space it is there, it will just reduce to release it to a uh, VG that we that we have. That is database VG. Okay, just run this. Uh, give uh, S. Yes, it is successfully resized. 9.55 GB from something like that it is shown, and then 5.55 GB uh, it it is actually reduced. Right, you can see it. Now you need to actually uh, check right uh, slash it is FS tab uh, entries right. If you see here. Um, that is actually MySQL data, which is already there, right? Even we are unmounted using umount command, but still entry is there in the FS tab, right? So we can just mount back using mount a We can refresh slash etc FS tab entries, right? It will be mount back. So if you run uh, df hyphen ht now, now we can see the space 3.9 GB around 4 GB, right? So it is actually took for metadata, so it is just showing 3.9, right? Instead of for it is it is just showing that okay this is how you can reduce even ext3 ext3 file system or ext4 file system we can reduce it okay so thanks for watching this video um please feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, you can comment and share okay you can also share the feedback whatever you have and uh, thank you bye bye guys